Chiefs Kingdom, it's my favorite time of the week. I get to talk the latest Chiefs news and rumors with you. Got our live Q&A mailbag, at least live for some. Obviously, you're seeing this probably a little bit later. But hey, if you want to be on this show, you want to be asking questions about the Kansas City Chiefs, guess what? We're live every single Tuesday at 3 p.m. Central Time. Come join us. Come hang out. We're talking Chiefs. We're talking with everybody. And I want you to be a part of it. And heck, you could be a part of one of the next questions, next mailbags we do in the coming future. Ed Griffin saying, hashtag Chiefs, are we off Dobbins? No. So I know that this has been a question throughout the entirety of Chiefs Kingdom since that meeting happened and the same day Clyde edwards alaire resigned. From Nate Taylor, he did say that the meeting between J.K. Dobbins and the Kansas City Chiefs were, was productive. Now, he also did mention it's something that could happen down the line. It's not something that he expects to be a near future type thing or anything that we could see in the coming days or weeks. Also, though, I think there's probably a position where the Chiefs are waiting for someone in the draft. There's someone that they want. Braylon Allen, Bucky Irving, Dylan Johnson have been three guys they've talked to. Maybe that is somebody that they go after. And if they don't get the person they want in the draft, then they come back and say, okay, now we are going to figure it out. And we're going to go out here and go for J.K. Dobbins. So definitely not off them. Let Mahomes cook. Hashtag Chiefs. Who do you want the Chiefs to draft in round one? <sighs> Lots of options here. I think I've set on a specific game plan. Should the Kansas City Chiefs decide to trade up, you get a wide receiver, you get A.D. Mitchell, you get Brian Thomas Jr., you try and get something like that if they fall to the right spot. If you don't trade up, I think you go offensive tackle. I know, I know. Wanya Morris, the third-round pick, played well when was needed, and wide receivers are thin because you know, the receiver eye situation is something else. But you still have to worry about your offensive line, the health of it, the future of it. Lots of things have to come into your mindset in this draft. And I feel as though the offensive tackle is just not as deep as the wide receiver class is. So you get an offensive tackle at pick number 32, and then at 64, you get a wide receiver. Or if you trade up in the second round, you could probably still get a Xavier Leggett, potentially a Troy Franklin, who I do think would both work really well with the Chiefs system. So that's something to maybe take into account. So if went to saying hashtag Chiefs, when can the Chiefs bring in T. Higgins? <sighs> Unfortunately, it sounds like nobody's going to bring in T. Higgins. I would love for the Chiefs to trade for him. I think he would be an absolute steal to have in KC. And it'd be funny because the Bengals would then have to watch him just absolutely go off whenever the Chiefs play them, whenever that would be. So. However... T. Higgins recently did come out at one of his events saying that he expects to play in Cincinnati this year. Now, how long will he be there? Oh, we don't exactly know, and I know that that's something that could change. I mean, maybe in, within a couple weeks or so, maybe, maybe it's something else that we decide to see. But for now, I feel as though he will play in Cincinnati. He says the same thing, so it sounds like nobody's going to bring him on. It's not just the Chiefs. They have a player you want the Chiefs to draft. Obviously, we are getting closer and closer Less than a week away now from the NFL draft. So get down in the comment section and name somebody you want to see on the squad for 2024 and let me know what you're thinking down in the comment section. Get Three Oak saying, hashtag Chiefs for my chat sports. I'm really starting to lean towards trading down if the board's friendly. Agreed. I really, really want AD Mitchell. I want him on the squad and I think he could be a really valuable asset. However, I do not think you will be there at 32. If you trade up, in my mind, you have three actual position needs. I say actual as in you, need to, you could draft somebody and they could be a starter. Wide receiver for sure, left tackle, and maybe cornerback. Because I know that Joshua, Joshua Williams is good and I like Jalen Watson, but maybe they go cornerback in the round three to try and see what they can figure out. They've been really good at drafting cornerbacks. You trade up here with a wide receiver, you don't really lose Allen too much. I mean, yeah, Say you trade your second round pick this year. Okay, you get a wide receiver, you get an off tackle in the third round. Say you trade your third round pick. I think that's the better option. Trade your third and first to move up five slots. You get A.D. Mitchell in the second round, you get an off the tackle. Then you figure it out from there. That, you got your two needs that you really needed. You figure it out after that. I think that's the thing that would be very, very useful for the Chiefs. So just have to wait and see, though, what exactly will happen. Mini Ninja saying, hashtag Chiefs, what are your thoughts on Rasheed? <sighs> it's an unfortunate situation. I know that 
obviously he's a kid. He's young. He just got out of the co out of college. Was right in the NFL, and you know that's a lot of stuff to come to a kid right out of college. However, you do have to take the consequences for your actions. And what he did was just plain stupid. Unfortunately, you can't be doing that type of speed, and it caused a wreck. And there's injuries, and there's lawsuits, and I truly don't know what's going to happen next. I know Andy Reid did mention he is going to participate in the initial process of training camp, pro camp, whatever you want to call it, uh, voluntary workouts, you know, kind of that stuff. He'll be a part of the Zoom process. But besides that, we don't know for sure. Obviously, if jail time happens, that kind of takes away from what he would be doing this season. So that's what we got to see. Patmo131 saying, do you agree that tight end is more useful to Chiefs than wide receiver? Do you mean drafting, or do you mean the tight end they have now? Because Travis Kelsey is by far more important than any wide receiver they have on the team. I agree with that 10,000 times. Draft-wise, no, obviously. But I think what you're talking about is the way they choose to use their tight end, especially being Travis Kelsey. I do think it's more important. I do think that you think about this team, and you don't think Rasheed Rice. You think Travis Kelsey. I mean, even Marquise Brown. You don't think Marquise Brown. You think Travis Kelsey. That's just the way that it's set in, and uh, at this point, it's the way that Andy Reid is going to continue coaching it as long as he has Travis Kelsey, and hopefully for a couple more years, because, man, I'm excited to see what he will do. I'm also excited to get my prize picks in here as, man, oh, man, it's been a pretty good week for you on prize picks, and you can be joining me, prizepicks.com slash CLNS. Using code CLNS, you're going to get a $100 deposit match. It's the largest daily fantasy sports platform in North America, and it's the easiest way to play DFS. They've got multiple different stat types, multiple different sports. It's so much fun. It's so easy. And hey, guess what? The NBA playoffs, or at least play-ins, are here. Obviously got some games going on tonight. And so, we'll put some picks in. DeMar DeRozan, 41.5 points and rebounds and assists. I'm going to go more. Trey Young, plays well when the lights shine bright. 37.5 points, rebounds and assists. I'm going to go more for the Oklahoma Sooner. I think he's going to do well in the game that, hey, I put both these guys in the same game, so I get to watch them do both of this. And I'm going to be rooting for offense the entire time. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. And, hey, it makes sports viewing, honestly, really, really exciting. So if you're not interested in the playing games, put some prize picks down. Maybe you'll get a little more interested. Once again, check out prizepicks.com slash CLNS. And using code CLNS, you're going to get that first deposit match of up to $100. Now, of course, go check it out. We'll have the link in the comments and the description of this video. You're not going to regret it. David Stocking saying, could the Chiefs trade for another veteran wide receiver in the draft? Yes. Um, I know there's a couple of guys who have been on the market. One today that intrigued me was Cortland Sutton. Didn't appear at his voluntary workouts, and that doesn't mean anything. It's not too big a deal. Justin Jefferson didn't appear at his, and we're not questioning if they're going to trade him. I think he just doesn't need it, to be quite frank. But... Portland would be a good one. However, because it's a AFC West trade there, I don't think it would happen. Doesn't mean it won't, but I think that would be kind of awesome to get a little bit more of a veteran presence just because Hollywood Brown is not a veteran presence. Rasheed Rice, not a veteran presence. Kadarius Tony, and Sky Moore. Now these guys have played more than three or four years. So Justin Watson is like the most veteran guy we have. and I wouldn't consider him like the star caliber to be a veteran guy. So Cortland Sutton will be an interesting one, but I, I don't think that will happen. Paul Amos saying, do you think, or what do you think of Irv Smith Jr.? I like him. He's a good pickup. Um, first non-re-signing free agent. At the same time, I was a little bit confused because I know they like to keep four, four tight ends. They have three. Will they draft one now? Will they not going to draft one now? I do think he has ability to be a blocking tight end and a catching receiving tight end. So that's one positive note about him, and I think he can be able to do both. And it's going to be a fun time to watch that develop and see what his role is. But I'm, I'm still kind of on the border of what, what to expect from him in, in 2024. Alfonso Zepeda saying, Keon Coleman at 32? I don't mind it. However, I will say this. Keon was projected to be a first-round pick about two months ago. That was his projection. Now we sit here about a week away. Nowhere close. I've had some mock drafts where he's been picked at 64th by the Chiefs. That's why I say this. If you don't trade up in the first round, you get an offensive tackle because the chances are 
Keon Coleman, Xavier Leggett will be there around your pick, and you can trade up a little bit. So I think Keon is a good pick if it's in round two, not in round one. I think there's other people that are better than him now that we see, and hopefully they have the potential to go to Kansas City. Will the Chiefs take a wide receiver in round one, though? I know that I've talked about the offensive tackle being an option. What would happen? Type Y for yes if you want the Chiefs to take a wide receiver. Type N for no if you don't want the Chiefs to take a wide receiver in round one. Obviously, it's a <laughs> very much a, a question that is going to be swirling over the next week or so. So get your comments down below. Get three oak again. Let's go. Let's go. Has Kool-Aid still been slipping on people's boards? Yes. I actually did do a mock draft getting Kool-Aid and McKinstry after the Legereus Sneed uh, trade talks. He would be great. He would really fit in. He would immediately be a, a CB2. But again, it's back to my point. You're replacing Joshua Williams, who the Chiefs like to have on their roster. Whereas if you get a wide receiver, you're replacing Sky Moore, Kadarius Tony. Not as much of a, a, a liking on the Chiefs' side. You get an off tackle, you're replacing Wanya Morris. When we started in two games last year. I think that's where you've got to think about, okay, what's more important? If Kool-Aid is there at 32, you take him. I'm not trading up for Kool-Aid, though, if I think it's like the thing that I'm doing. Tony Fuente saying, I think the Chiefs should get tight end in the draft. Travis Kelsey ain't getting any younger. I think it's time. Yeah, I know, 34 years old, and uh, Taylor Swift may cut, take a couple years off his life as well. So that's something to keep in the thought process. But at the same time, he did say after winning the Super Bowl, I could do this seven more times. Obviously, that's somebody who just won the Super Bowl. Let's say, God forbid, the Chiefs lose this year and don't win the Super Bowl. Is there a different sentiment? Is he saying, maybe we'll think about it? Is there, you know, you, you never know. And as the Chiefs, you have to be prepared. And I think in some ways, you have to have an honest conversation with Travis and say, hey, we need to know what your plan is. Is it this year? Is it next year? Do you think you're going to retire in the next couple of years? Or is that something that's not on your mind? I'm not trying to force you to retire. I just want to know from a personnel perspective what we could do on that. Alfonso Zepeda saying, what about bringing back Kareem Hunt? <laughs> uh, in short, no. <laughs> as much as I would like to kind of reinvigorate that, it's just not there anymore. <laughs> as much as I would like it to be, it's not. And we got to move on. And... Um, Isaiah Pacheco and Clyde Edwards are great. I think you can get J.K. Dobbins or draft a running back, but definitely an interesting thing, and I think that would be hilarious for the Chiefs to bring him back. It'd also be, hey, an interesting story for sure. So keep that in the, in, in, the, in the back of my mind if the Chiefs don't get a running back in the draft for sure. If you want Chiefs draft coverage content all in one place, we got you covered. Hit that subscribe button. We're getting closer and closer, literally about a week away now. So hit the subscribe button. You're not going to regret it. And, hey, if you don't like us in two weeks, unsubscribe. That could hurt my feelings. So. We appreciate you hanging out with us, and for now, Cheese Kingdom.